The James Webb Space Telescope, designed primarily for observing the early universe, has delivered awe-inspiring insights into our own solar system. In October, the telescope unveiled a previously unseen high-speed jet stream on Jupiter, spanning over 3,000 miles and hurtling at approximately 320 miles per hour. In June, the JWST made a groundbreaking discovery by detecting carbon dioxide in the salty liquid oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa. Additionally, the telescope provided a fresh perspective on Saturn, capturing its intricate ring system and three of its 146 known moons, revealing the gas giant's eerie darkness in infrared due to methane gas absorption of sunlight. Notably, the JWST also presented a captivating image of Uranus, highlighting its brightest moons and 11 out of 13 dusty rings. In September, the observatory discovered methane and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a nearby exoplanet named K2-18b, which circles a cool star 120 light-years from Earth and is larger than our planet but smaller than the giant planets in our solar system. Previous observations with the Hubble Space Telescope had indicated that it hosts thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres with oceans of liquid water underneath. Recent observations with the JWST support that hypothesis, as the new data shows evidence for abundant methane and carbon dioxide but little ammonia. In February, scientists announced the discovery of galaxies as massive as the Milky Way sprinkled across the JWST's images of the universe just 500 million to 700 million years after the Big Bang. For models, the galaxies the telescope found are too big, and the mature red stars in them too old, which creates problems for science. We know that the universe is expanding at an ever-increasing rate, but we do not know precisely how fast. The issue has become a debate centered on resolving the correct value of the Hubble constant, an important number for estimating the universe's expansion rate. Right now, model estimates for the Hubble constant do not agree with values based on telescope observations. This year, the JWST observed a class of stars known as Cepheid variables, which are usually humongous stars some 100,000 times brighter than the Sun and the most reliable source to measure cosmic distances. But instead of resolving the debate, the JWST's data only deepened the ongoing debate over the Hubble constant. The JWST helped astronomers see what is thought to be one of the first ever black holes. It observed the galaxies as they were when the universe was younger than 1 billion years, this allowed them to show how vast a black hole's mass could be, often billions of suns. In June, astronomers revealed that the JWST had detected intriguing carbon-based molecules, like the ones found in oil and coal deposits on Earth, from over 12 billion years ago, when the universe was just 10% of its current age. In space, these molecules linked to minuscule dust grains. Detecting them had been challenging because of the limits of our telescopes until now, using Webb's infrared sensors and sensitive instruments. This blurry orange blob, imaged by the JWST in summer 2022, is known as Macy's Galaxy, and in August 2023, astronomers announced that it is one of the earliest galaxies ever discovered. The galaxy seems to have existed when the universe was only 390 million years old, making it one of the earliest galaxies ever seen. In July, astronomers announced that the JWST had detected the most distant active supermassive black hole ever seen, whose host galaxy formed just 570 million years after the Big Bang. However, this ancient black hole has puzzlingly low mass, just 9 million times that of the Sun. For comparison, most black holes weigh over 1 billion solar masses where a 1 solar mass is equivalent to 2 by 10 to the 30 kilograms. The James Webb Space Telescope's spectacular image of the deep infrared universe, known as the JWST Deep Field Image, allows us to visually see the first ever galaxies. The galaxy cluster SMAX J0723.3-7327 is among a set of galaxy clusters that Webb is imaging for various gravitational lensing surveys. Other than that, there is little special in this part of the universe however it highlights the enormity of the universe.